Hi Nicholas, this is Coach Smart from ABC Baseball Camps here to do your analysis on your video for your hitting. We're going to talk about your setup, your swing plane, your position at contact, your lower half, and then your finish. And maybe a couple of drills to help with anything we see. Uh, let's talk about your setup a little bit. I love your setup. It's nice and simple. It's basic. Easy to repeat. All things that should be very important to you too. The simpler we can make that swing and the setup is the better off you are. Uh, the width of between your legs is great. Good athletic position. Looks like you already understand how to get a good load. I like that. Love your hand position up there. So that looks really good. Let's go ahead and take you towards your uh, stride. We'll stop it right on the stride. Okay. The video kind of gets cut off a little bit, but. Um, one thing I'd like to see you do a little bit different, Nicholas, is instead of, right now you've got your front foot, it's kind of pointed that way. And it should look just like your back foot. It still should be straight. You still, right now, you still should be at a position where you're square to home plate. And right now you've opened your front foot up a little bit, which is going to open up your front hip a little bit and cause some other issues, okay? So... Got to try to make sure you when you when you you've got a nice stride, but just make sure you try to stride to a closed foot or to a position of being square home plate. Okay, let's look at your swing plane a little bit. Okay, a downward angle towards home plate. That's good. You're level where you're supposed to be. So from a swing plane standpoint, not bad at all. I like what you do there. Okay, you're a little bit out in front from a position of contact, uh, but you kind of still maintaining that that L we need right there. Your uh, left arm looks pretty straight there, no problem there. Fingernails up and fingernails down on both your hands, so that's not too bad. Get good extension. Looks like your hands are going towards center field. Two hand finish, high above your uh, above your shoulders. Very good. I like all that. Okay, let's go through another swing and see what you do with that feet at your feet again. Okay. Again, that front foot starting to turn open right there. So it looks like it might be a little eensy weensy bit better. Still, I'd like to see it look just like your back foot. Just like your back foot. So you can stay square at home plate. Okay? Now we're going to put a circle around your head to make sure that you're not drifting at all. As that ball's coming towards you, you know, we're not going to transfer that weight until we swing. Let's actually take you back into your. Okay, so there you're starting on an open stance and then striding to a square stance, looks like, or trying to. Okay. Okay. Your stride foot now is on the ground. Okay. There should be very, very little head movement here from now on. Now it's just a matter of rotating your hands to the baseball. Let's see what you do. Okay. So your hips slide or leak forward a little bit as you as that ball uh, comes towards you. Okay, that's something we'd want to make sure we take care of. About a half a head. Not much, but enough to for it to be a concern. When you get older and start facing, you know, high velocity, 90 miles an hour in high school, you're going to want to be as stable and still as possible as that ball's coming towards you from a head and eye standpoint. Okay? So just make sure that... The, the, the kind of thought is, is when your stride foot's are ground, you're, it's on the ground, you're done moving forward now. Now you wait until it's time for you to swing and then you transfer your weight as you swing, not before. And you're transferring some weight as you go towards the baseball. Clip right there, you're, you're transferring some weight that way and we want to make sure that we're just doing that when, when we're swinging the bat and hitting the ball. Okay. Um, let's talk about your lower half now a little bit, okay? 
It looks like you're doing a great job of driving that knee down. Again, our goal is to drive this knee to the inside of that front foot. And when you get to be about that position there, you should be having a very difficult time keeping that front foot on the ground. It's going to want to roll over on your outside of your foot. And you not letting that happen creates resistance. Resistance creates energy. Resistance creates bat speed. Resistance creates more power for you. So you can make sure you understand how important it is to hit against a firm, closed front side. If you let that front side open up a little bit, you let that front toe go a little farther to the left, you know, you're just kind of let that energy leak out the front end of your swing. And we do not want that. We want to capture that energy against our front foot, drive through it, get great extension, and then uh, with a nice high finish like you do, and so you're in good shape. So a drill for you to maybe uh, get rid of that leaking out of the front end a little bit is to find a, you know, a thick towel, a piece of wood, a two by four, something that you can stride to. You can feel the difference in your foot. It kind of prevents you from going forward anymore. A perfect thing we, we call a, um, a, a stride, it's kind of like a stride box, and we just put a, at an angle like it looks like this. I'll draw one for you. Okay, go like that. Like that, so it sits on an angle like that, and your your foot lands on top of that, and that signifies to your brain that hey, I'm done going forward. Now I'm just going to execute my swing. They're really easy to make. You can have Dad make you one. You know, just big enough for your foot to land on it. Kind of, uh, this, this is a horrible job of drawing one, but you'll get the idea, I think. Kind of looks like that, so it's just kind of a box with an angle to it that your foot can land on. Okay, Nick, uh, like I said, everything else looks pretty good. Hope this helps you a little bit, and have a great summer. We look forward to seeing you at another ABC baseball camp. Thank you.